border and all you need to know about Anzac Day services tomorrow. Good evening, I'm Bruce Roberts. Also tonight, the success continues for Murray United with a stunning win over Bendigo City. A long-time Holbrook resident is refusing to sell her asbestos-ridden house, saying it's been undervalued by the New South Wales government. Ruth Dinsdale invited a visiting minister into her home today, telling him she can't afford to move. Ruth Dinsdale will continue living in her Holbrook home, despite the loose fill asbestos in the roof. The 77-year-old was offered less than $140,000 from the New South Wales government to buy and demolish her home. But Ms Dinsdale says she can't afford to move, having been quoted $210,000 to rebuild a small house. I would have been in dire straits if I had have gone ahead. And, uh, yeah, so I have no option but to stay. The Minister for Better Regulation visited the Greater Hume Shire today, where 37 properties have been identified as containing the dangerous material. It's the worst affected region in the state, with the Minister hearing from homeowners at a community meeting, many who also believe their properties have been undervalued. We're not too old yet, but there's a lot of um, affected landholders in Holbrook that are uh, um, you know, in their 80s, and it's, it's a big problem for them. The minister said he will try to find additional compensation for relocation costs and furniture, but couldn't confirm when that money will be made available. And what we're looking at is pooling funds, additional funds, with the local council to ensure the best deal possible for residents in Hol Holbrook. Mark Blackman, Win News. New equipment to diagnose lung cancer is now available at the Wodonga Hospital. The state-of-the-art machine means dozens of chronically ill border residents will no longer have to travel to Melbourne. It's the first